everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. So as you can see, I have a very crazy look on at the moment. Today I'm going to be doing a Halloween makeup tutorial on this look. This is the trippy face makeup look and this is actually inspired by the gorgeous and talented Promise Fan here on YouTube. I'll leave her video down below. It was amazing. I think I saw it about a year ago and I was so, so inspired. I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. So today I thought I would recreate this look for my Halloween series. I am so excited that Halloween is finally like a month away or so. So I'm going to be creating so many looks for you guys to kind of get you inspired and get you in the mood for Halloween. The reason why I love this Halloween makeup so much is because you can can actually do this with makeup that you already have in your makeup bag you don't have to go out and get any fancy face paints if you like this look please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new I have already done two Halloween makeup looks I've done Harley Quinn and the Joker and then I also did a Tim Burton one so I would really appreciate if you guys check them out I put so much effort into them so I really hope you guys like them I'll leave those on screen as well as in the description or the eye in the corner so you guys can check them out so if you guys like this look then just keep on watching so to begin this makeup, I'm starting out by mapping out where my eyes are going to be with a brown eyeliner. Next, I'm reaching for a matte brown eyeshadow and I'm replicating my eyeshadow with this as well as creating depth to the eye so that it looks much more three-dimensional. I'm then reaching for a black coal liner and I'm emphasizing the upper lash line and recreating my winged liner with a black liquid liner afterwards. Next, I'm taking a white coal liner and creating the whites inside my eyes and then blending this out with my finger. To define the eyebrows, I'm actually using a cream contour kit from L'Oreal and then I'm going over the eyebrows with a black coal liner. The eyebrows were probably the most time consuming part of this makeup because they are quite difficult to replicate since there's so many different shades and shadows in your eyebrows, therefore making them look three dimensional and realistic is quite difficult so you have to take your time with this. Now I'm reaching for a dark brown shadow and I'm going over my crease to emphasize it and add more depth. Once that's done, I'm going to move on to the inner corner and my waterline. So for this, I'm using a pinky slash orangey toned shadow. And again, I'm applying this with a precision brush. I'm now creating the eyeballs. So I'm taking a blue coal liner from Makeup Forever and I'm just creating the eyes, which I'm then going to emphasize with a darker shadow. So I'm going around the circumference of the eyeball and just really emphasizing it and darkening it up. And then I'm of course creating the iris with a black liner. To make the eye pop even more, I'm gonna add that little glare in my eye that you can see in my actual eyes. This again will bring the eyes to life and make them look much more three-dimensional. I then returned back to my black liquid liner and I just went over the circumference of the eyeball very lightly to emphasize the eyes even more. I'm then taking a felt tip liner and I'm creating all the little lashes as closely as I can to my realistic ones. I am then reaching back for my brown liner and I'm now mapping out where the nose will be. So I'm doing this on the bridge of my nose. This part is kind of tricky, but you just have to keep looking at your nose and how it looks and then basically try and replicate that just above it. Lastly, moving on to the lips, I'm taking the same lipstick that I used on my lips. So to make the lips look a bit more realistic, you wanna create the shadows and highlights once again. So I'm using a black liner for this as well as a white one, just to add that little bit of highlight to the lips, which I'm then just patting off with my finger so that it's not so harsh and this is the finished look it's so so creepy by the way all the products that I've used in this video will be listed down in the description so that is all for this makeup tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please be sure to smash that huge thumbs up just down below and subscribe if you are new if you guys decide to recreate this look I would love it if you guys tagged me and promise since she's the creator of this look we would love to see your recreations don't forget to check out my previous Halloween videos that I did as well as the ones I did last year I just oh my gosh like Halloween is like my favorite time of the year on YouTube so I'll leave a little playlist of my Halloween series down below in the description for those of you who are interested and yeah that is all from me I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye